Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Keeping Fish Simple. So in today's video, we are gonna be talking about the 10 most common reasons why shrimp die. Now, shrimp can be one of the most easy species to take care of in the entire aquarium hobby, if done correctly. And they can be one of the most hands-off and enjoyable things to keep in an aquarium because of their low maintenance, if you can set them up properly. Now, shrimp can die from a wide variety of different reasons and they can be quite sensitive to certain things. And this can sometimes lead to deaths in your aquarium. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna try and help you guys out with some of the reasons why your shrimp might be dying. And I'll just be honest coming off the bat that I've picked up shrimp recently in the last four months after not keeping them for a couple of years. I was successful keeping them a couple of years ago, but I recently got back into it. And when I first got back into it, I decided to pick up some neocaridinas and some caridinas. So I have some crystal reds and I have some cherry shrimp. So I've got some yellow cherries, some blue dreams. And when I first got these guys, I was having success with my blue dream shrimp. They were doing really, really well. But then some of my other shrimp, like my crystal reds and my yellow cherries, weren't doing so good. And I've changed a few things and I've learned actually quite a lot about shrimp in the past couple of months. And I finally started to have some success. So I've got lots of babies in these aquariums and they're all breeding and reproducing well. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you all the reasons why they were dying and how to prevent this and how to start up your successful shrimp colony. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now before I get into the first tip, please keep in mind that this is just my personal experience and this is all just based off of my encounters with shrimp and my mistakes with shrimp. So take everything with a grain of salt. I'm just a guy with a YouTube channel and I don't know everything. I'm not a shrimp master. So this is all just based off my experience and I'm just going to try and give you guys everything I would recommend to myself when I first got shrimp. So that brings me to my first reason why shrimp die. And the first reason why shrimp die is from planaria. Now, planaria are pretty common in most aquariums and they can develop over a long period of time of overfeeding and things like that. And what these guys are, are tiny little flatworms that you'll see along the glass of the aquarium and mostly in and around the substrate of your fish tank. And these guys come about when there's overfeeding, they can come in on plants and stuff like that and they're pretty common now in a fish aquarium these guys don't seem to cause too much harm unless you're trying to breed which they will eat eggs of the fish you breed but when it comes to shrimp these guys can actually climb inside of shrimp and can kill shrimp that way now this isn't going to be one of the most common reasons why shrimp die this can just be a reason that you've had maybe one or two just random deaths and the way that you're going to be able to diagnose whether this is actually the reason why your shrimp have died is you'll actually see the flatworm inside of the shrimp and it's quite disturbing to see and it's quite gross so what i'd recommend to this is if you do have planaria in your tank you'll see them around the aquarium is to pick up this product called no planaria. Now this is going to be a shrimp safe method for removing planaria from your aquarium and it works really really quickly. So you just add this stuff to your aquarium and it'll just knock out all the planaria straight away. Now I don't know whether this is going to be safe for snails. In my experience it has been safe for my snails and I have ramshorn snails in my tanks so I'm assuming that it should be okay for other people's tanks but like I said take everything with a grain of salt but my first reason why shrimp die is going to be planaria and if I see planaria in any of my shrimp tanks, I always treat it and I try and get rid of it. Another quick thing that you can do to also mitigate the chances of having a planaria culture in your tank is to make sure that you don't overfeed your shrimp and we're going to get to that later on in the video. Now the second reason why shrimp die is one of the most common reasons and this is just improper conditions. Now this is actually the reason why I was losing a lot of shrimp at the start and this was just due to a lack of education. Now in the hobby we have two main categories of shrimp and I'm just going to focus on these two. So we're going to talk about caridinas and neocaridinas. Now they both require different types of water. Now neocaridinas such as cherry shrimp and things like that like to have their water a little bit harder than the crystal reds or the caridinas do. Now, when I'm talking about hardness of water, I'm talking about the pH, the KH, and the GH of the water. Now, don't get scared if you're a beginner because this stuff is very easy. When we talk about hard water, that's normally water that has a lot of mineral in it, so a lot of KH and GH. And our cherry shrimp and neocaridinas really appreciate having this in the water because it helps them to molt their exoskeleton properly. Now, our caridinas like to have a little bit of KH and GH in the water, but they'd rather have it quite soft and they don't need a lot of mineral in the water and it helps them to molt if there's not a lot in there because it calcifies them I think and it makes it too hard for them to molt their exoskeleton. So when I first got my shrimp I actually had all my shrimp on shrimp substrate and this was working for a bit but it wasn't working too great because the neocaridinas were having all the minerals in my water which is relatively soft out of the tap getting sucked out and this meant that there was no minerals in the water and they would just die when it came to molting. So I was losing a lot of shrimp that way. Now in my caridina tank, I thought that they had to have really soft water. So I was actually adding RO water when I was doing water changes. 
and RO water is just pure water so it doesn't have any mineral in it and there was actually a deficiency of minerals in the water so I decided to change a few things once I figured out that this was a problem. In my neo carotene tank to adjust the minerals in the water I took out all the shrimp substrate, I left it bare bottom and I added some crushed coral which I found at the beach and this really helped the shrimp to improve and since making these changes I've had a ton of success. There's tons of buried females around the aquarium, so many babies it's like really just mind blowing and it's really fixed them up. So that crushed coral is really helping to add a lot of calcium to the water, which will boost up the carbonate hardness, which is the KH. And it also helps to boost up the GH. And there's no more shrimp substrate in there, sucking out all the minerals from the water. Now, what I did for my carotene tank is I also added a piece of crushed coral in there just in case that would make a difference. And the other thing I did was I just stopped changing the water with RO water and I switched it over to tap water and that improved the GH and KH of my water and helped the shrimp to start to molt properly and reproduce properly because what was happening was the shrimp was staying alive and they were molting okay but the big buried females every time they would have babies would start to die when they started to give birth and they weren't able to molt properly so improper conditions can be a very very common way that shrimp die and it's probably the number one way and this is going to be because it happens maybe two or three weeks after you get your shrimp and it might not seem like the reason why because they were okay for a couple of weeks so just test your water get a small test kit and once you figure out out how to keep your water properly you're not going to need to consistently test the water okay and so the third reason why shrimp might be dying in your aquarium is that you didn't acclimate them properly now this can be a really common reason for a lot of people and this can be a reason why shrimp die maybe two or three days after you've gotten them now with fish most of the time if we don't acclimate our fish properly the fish will die pretty much straight away and will show problems pretty much straight away it won't take them over 24 hours to have problems but what happens is when shrimp aren't acclimated properly and when I say acclimating I mean slowly introducing the shrimp into their new environment through something like a drip system or some kind of method like that to make sure they don't get shocked by the temperature and the new pH, GH and KH of the water. What can happen is the shrimp, they get shocked and this forces them to have their molt cycle come early and then that can just cause a whole range of problems for the shrimp and they'll get stressed out and they'll die that way. Now this can take a couple of days after you've introduced them to a new aquarium for it to happen. And this was actually happening to me a lot as a kid when I was first getting shrimp. I'd add them to an aquarium and they'd be good for a couple of days and then I'd notice that they started to die two or three days after I'd gotten them. So if you've lost some shrimp two or three days after you've added them to your new aquarium, it's most likely gonna be that you didn't acclimate them properly. And this is definitely gonna be a thing that I'd recommend for all shrimp. I acclimate all my shrimp. I don't spend as much time as I do acclimating fish that I get as I do with shrimp. I really focus on getting the shrimp in there as slowly as possible, even really hardy shrimp like cherry shrimp. I really make a big effort to make sure that they have a drip and they get acclimated over a long period of time, a couple of hours, and then I introduce them to the aquarium so they don't get shocked and die this way. And now the fourth reason why your shrimp might be dying is copper in the aquarium. Now this can be a really, really annoying way for the shrimp to die. And this is gonna be if you lost like your whole colony when you first added them to a tank within the first 24 hours. This can even probably be over a long period of time depending on the exposure, but copper is something that's really deadly to shrimp. And it's also deadly to snails. So if you can't keep snails in your aquarium before you get shrimp, don't get shrimp because there's likely gonna be copper in that aquarium. Now what a lot of people do is when they have a snail outbreak in their aquarium due to overfeeding, which is pretty common when you're doing a lot of breeding. What they do to get rid of the snails in that aquarium is they use copper. The copper kills all the snails and it's safe for the fish in the aquarium but it kills invertebrates and what the copper can actually do is it can seep into the silicon in the aquarium and it can actually stay in the aquarium permanently and ruin the aquarium for shrimp. So if you buy like a secondhand aquarium that aquarium might have been exposed to copper and that copper is going to be in the silicon and kill your shrimp. So you want to be careful you want to make sure that your aquariums you either buy them new or you know that there hasn't been copper in that tank but this can be a reason that a lot of people do lose shrimp. I don't find that copper pipes kill shrimp. I've got copper pipes in my aquariums and the copper doesn't seem to leach in that way but having it in the aquarium definitely does kill them. Copper can also come in fertilizers as well so be sure that if you're adding fertilizers to your aquarium you do a lot of research on all the chemicals in that fertilizer or just try and not add fertilizers to the aquarium because some of these heavy metals definitely do kill shrimp and that's why some shrimp die. Now my fifth reason why shrimp die is kind of similar to the last reason and this is medication. Now a lot of people they have shrimp and fish together and their fish might show symptoms of some kind of disease and they medicate that aquarium. And in the process of medicating the aquarium they actually medicate the shrimp accidentally and that medication might not be safe for shrimp. Now shrimp, in my opinion, are one of the most sensitive species to changes in an aquarium. So the idea with shrimp is that you wanna get them into a tank with the ideal conditions and then just basically leave them. You can pretty much let the water evaporate and just top it up and that should be enough to take care of the shrimp, even though I'd recommend doing like a water change weekly. So when you add things to your aquarium, like medications, like fertilizers, these products have different chemicals in them 
which just shrimp seem to really perish on. So you want to be really careful adding anything to your aquarium. Sometimes medicating fish with shrimp in the aquarium does kill the shrimp and that can be a reason why your shrimp have died. Now the number six reason why shrimp die is due to genetics. Now this is going to be a much less common issue. This is just going to be something that I've added into this list as a precautionary because this is going to be something you want to try and prevent over the long term. This is going to be over a very long period of time that this might become a problem. But we got all these different colors and we've got all these different strains and this is all due to inbreeding. So all the time we cross brothers and sisters together and parents together to create all these beautiful colors in our aquariums and this can weaken the genetics of that shrimp and over time just cause it to be a pretty weak species. Now this isn't going to be like a common reason why shrimp die, this is just going to be something I've added in here to make sure that you buy your shrimp from a source where they've used a couple of different bloodlines or you try and when you start your colonies get shrimp from two or three sources and mix those bloodlines at the start because if you keep a colony of shrimp for a few years and all those shrimp started from maybe 10 shrimp and then you have hundreds of shrimp and they're all breeding together, they come from that same gene pool. This can just cause poor genetics over a long period of time and can be a reason why some shrimp die. Now the seventh reason why shrimp die is a reason that I didn't think was actually super necessary and super important, but since keeping my shrimp, I've noticed just how important this is and this is gonna be the temperature of your aquarium. Now, shrimp really do like cooler aquariums. A lot of people think that they are a tropical species and these guys are definitely not. Although some shrimp like cherry shrimp can probably go into a bit of a warmer aquarium, a lot of these guys do like to be in cooler water around 21 to 22 degrees Celsius, which I think is about 76 degrees Fahrenheit. So when I first got my shrimp, I didn't realize how important this was. And luckily enough, I did add them to an aquarium with the correct temperature, but I didn't think about this when considering where I was gonna place my shrimp in my fish room. And I could have easily added them to an aquarium with say 25 degrees Celsius where they wouldn't have bred properly. So another reason I added this in here and can be a reason why shrimp die is people might not add a heater to their aquarium and overnight the temperature in your room might get really cold and will actually drop the temperature in the fish tank and vice versa in some of the room might get too hot and the temperature might come up to that 25 degrees and that can be a reason why some shrimp die. Shrimp can maintain, you know, different temperatures. They're not gonna die if it fluctuates by a couple of degrees, but over a long period of time, like over a whole summer, if your aquarium creeps up a couple of degrees, it's not gonna be good for the shrimp and it'll actually affect their breeding and will probably kill a few shrimp. And now my eighth reason why shrimp die, one of the most important things on this list, this is the non-stable environment. I don't know if I said that with the correct grammar, but what I mean by the non-stable environment is new influencing factors inside of the aquarium that make that aquarium non-stable. So it's really easy for us as people to see something go wrong in an aquarium and then instantly want to change things. And when we change things, we can actually add more stress to the aquarium and more stress to the shrimp and kill them that way. So we might see a shrimp dead and we decide to do a water change and then that water change might stress the shrimp out more and bump the pH or change the GH and KH and kill shrimp that way. So what I'm saying by this tip is not to not do water changes. You definitely need to do water changes, but make sure that you do smaller water changes, not big 70% water changes or 80% water changes. You wanna just do like 10 or 15% water changes. And another thing too is that outside temp. So you don't wanna do like a big water change with cold water and stress them out that way. You just wanna do everything gradual. These guys are kind of like the bonsai of the aquarium world where you just wanna really be delicate and spend a lot of time just doing little things and lots of little tiny things of maintenance. Keeping them in a stable environment is the key to having success with them. And then reason number nine why your shrimp might be dying is due to early molting. Now, early molting is normally caused from stress to shrimp. And this is why most shrimp deaths in an aquarium happen within the first like month or so when keeping shrimp. And this is because molting takes a lot of energy and a lot of nutrients from the shrimp to do. And when you stress the shrimp out, they might think that it's time to molt. This is why you might see when you do like a little water change in your established shrimp aquarium, all the shrimp molt at the same time. They have all these triggers in the wild where they know when it's time to molt and change their skeleton due to the outside factors. And false triggers like stressing them out with a water change that's too big or them being shipped to you or something like that can cause these guys to have an early molt and can just drain them of their nutrients and they might not be able to molt properly or they might just die of like exhaustion. And early molting is something that you just wanna try and avoid the best you can. So buying shrimp local and making sure they're not stressed out during shipping is a really good way of avoiding this or just trying to make sure the aquarium's as stable as possible and you're not doing like massive water changes. I keep saying that, I know, but it's really, really important. And then reason number 10 and my final reason is gonna be due to tank decor. So I'm not talking about like, you know, different ornaments. Well, I kind of am. You don't want to have like some kind of chemical on a piece of plastic that you added to your aquarium, killing the shrimp. But I'm more talking about using botanicals in your aquarium. So 
A lot of people buy Indian almond leaves to add to their aquarium because they're really good for forming biofilm for the shrimp to eat. And a lot of people add like botanicals from outside and there's a whole bunch of things that you can add to your aquarium like alder cones and Indian almond leaves and I even add eucalyptus leaves to my aquarium but you have to make sure these are all from a really good source because a lot of people might add a leaf from say like a golf course where they've sprayed fertilizers and they won't realize that that leaf's got fertilizers on it and then it might kill shrimp that way. Now, even people buying Indian almond leaves from aquarium stores, sometimes those actually bring in pesticides and can kill your shrimp. So I guess one thing that I'd recommend, if you've got like a new botanical that you haven't added to your aquarium before, give it a really good rinse off, maybe even boil it and try and wash off anything just in case there's something on it. But just make sure you get all your botanicals and tank decor from a really good source before you add it. This can also be on driftwood, things like that. But that's gonna basically wrap this video up, guys. Thank you so much for watching it. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys learned something and I'm sorry that you have been having shrimp deaths. I hope from this video you've learned a few things and you're going to be able to keep your shrimp successfully. As always, thank you so much for watching this video guys and I'll see you in the next one.